Hey everybody. Um, okay, I just watched back my last video there. Kind of at the end and in a little bit. And I apologize for my voice kind of breaking here and there. It's just my throat is a bit messed up at the moment. So yeah, if my voice breaks again, take no notice of it. As awkward as that may be. Anyway, in my last video I slightly extended my new house. And now I'm going to head... Oops, sorry, I just hit the microphone. Sorry if that was really loud. And I'm going to go east, I believe. Is there anything... I'll hold on to my silver, even though I may lose it all. If I feel like I'm at risk of death, I'll... I'll probably just end up losing my money. But anyway, so let's just head in this direction and see where it takes me. Running, running, run. I should probably have waited until like daytime before I decide to go on this little escapade because I don't fancy being attacked by zombies and flying eyes or demon eyes, whatever. Oh. Yeah, this is a lot better. So hopefully this time I'll be able to survive. It feels kind of strange though using this kind of weapon because I keep because I haven't played with this character in a while now because I'm always using my main character who has like the I can't remember is it the Knight's Bane? It's like a crazy strong sword. It can kill a lot of things with one hit. I'm also not used to everything being so dark because like it has the miner's helmet and the sword seems to light things up. Eventually darkness just becomes no object or no issue with you whatsoever. If you have the right equipment, you're gonna see no matter what. Actually I had other potions in my chest, I probably should have taken them with me just in case. Jump over most cactuses. There we go. Can't get past that one. Actually I'm gonna do some rearranging. There we go. Adaloo. Boing. Boing. Ooh. Huh. I just realized I forgot to set a timer again. Wow, I really have to remember to do that in future. Boing. Ooh. Sneaky. He was sitting on a cactus so I didn't see it. Or else there was a corpse for the other one. I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. Choppy chop. I really hate the ant lines. That's because they're so awkward. Oh, really? Another blood moon? I think that's kind of the last thing I need. Yeah, okay, I think this video is going to. The whole thing has just changed drastically. <laughs> yeah, okay. I could not foresee that. How much money do I have now? I'd better not have lost too much. Oops. 50. Alright. Okay, that's, I'll admit that's awkward. Also, it's crushing. I mean, the one time I thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna go look for my meteorite. Oh no, sorry, but there's a blood moon. Ugh. Oh well, I suppose I'll try and find a groom and get myself a fancy hat. At least there's no walls they can break through. Or doors. Well, there is from this side. But, hold on. Oh yeah, they won't be able to get into this side though, because there's a bed in the way. So they'll have to open it outwards. And luckily they're not smart enough to do that. In that case, is there anything I can put away? And what if I dig downwards and make a room? Ah, oh, it doesn't do it. That doesn't mean anything. Put this copper away. 
I'll launch the super just in the hope that the man will still at some point come back to me. I'll throw some stuff away. I'm sure there's already things I could stack this onto, but I don't really care about that right now. Now then, I'm basically just going to try and get around and into that. Wait, I thought there was something down that hole. Oh, I have to go further right. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get away from my guide. Even though he means nothing to me, but still, I don't want him to get hurt too badly. <gasps> it's a goob. Whoa. -oh. Come on, I want your hat. Give me your hat. Yeah, I grooms drop the top hat that they're wearing. Woo, top hat. I'll equip it when I'm safe. Now I want that star. There we go. Now I look cool as well as everything else. But I'm still dead. Yeah, I guess some days I just die twice as much as other days. And when that happens, there's nothing you can do. Get away! I think the demonized are more of a problem. I mean, at least the zombies are just on the ground, but these things are like flying at you from all angles. Get away. This game can get a bit unfair when there's a blood moon around. For some reason I seem to be faring a lot worse this time though, and I thought I was better equipped. Because I mean my first blood moon I was fine. And these zombies don't become any stronger anyway. I should have just kept on running. Whoa. I'm meant to be this way, aren't I? I think so. I haven't played this I haven't played this world now in a few days. Just because I was kind of busy over the past few days, so I just did a bulk of them there one day and I was uploading them kind of progressively. So I haven't done this place in a while. So I'm a bit rusty on where, which way the cave goes. Heal up, I think. Oh. Take care of the slime, because all the enemies down here are relatively safe in comparison to up there. Because I'm not going to get flooded by things down here. Well, I will, but not zombies. Bloop. Oop. That was a bit careless. The pink wood. It is. It's hard to see when it's bright. Hmm. What did I do here last time? Have I been over here? Normally, I go for as much cobweb as possible. So if there's cobweb around, then there's a good chance I haven't been here before. Now let's dig this away, I think. Oh. I forgot that that doesn't work. Torch is underwater. Oh. I also forgot about mud crushing you. It's the same with ash. But ash is a lot deeper as well. Oh no, I'm out of bubbles. Almost. Come on. Woo! Now that was close. Haha, <laughs> jellyfish got stuck. This cave looks dangerously deep, but I'm gonna jump down anyway. This place doesn't look familiar to me, but there's still torches everywhere, so it must be. Whew. And I've been down there before, because there's light down there. 
but I don't remember any of this. So I guess it's like a little new adventure. Even though it's not. And, whoop. I'll take this jellyfish, because I want his glow sticks. His glow sticky goodness. Oh well, he'll be back in a minute. Hmm, come down here, skeleton. Nope, just coins. I'm still on the search for a hook. Because a grappling hook will help me so much in these videos. Heal up. Ooh, good, glowing mushrooms. They're quite effective at this stage of the game. Although they don't glow when you're holding them. Ooh, one tiny little piece of iron. This might just get me what I need to make some metal pants. Probably not though. I'll jump down here and hope it won't kill me. Now this is new, because it's so dark. Who knows, I might just get a mining helmet off this guy. It's unlikely, but I think there is like a 9901 uh, 9 chance that you'll get one. But that wasn't one of those chances. Ooh. I'll quickly run down here. Hmm. This place is very flashy. That wasn't my voice breaking, that was just me genuinely going way too high pitched for some weird reason. Hmm. Where's this minor guy? I want him to come after me so I can try and so I can kill him and get his hat. Come on. Boom. Come on. Nope. I don't think it's ever gonna happen. But I suppose there's no harm in being hopeful anyway. Oh, he's not dead yet. There we go. Now he's dead. Ooh, a water potion. Now then, will I go down there, or go up there, or go over here, or go down there? So many choices. <laughs> Make some more of this. Where did I get grenades from? Or bombs? This place doesn't look safe. It's a big enough fall, but I don't think it'll quite kill me. Ooh, treasure! There better be something good. Magic mirror. That would be useful, but sadly, I have no mana. I'll take the gold coins, and the torches, and the flaming arrows, and then the chest itself. Now then, does anyone see any ores around here? Because I sure as hell don't. Oh wait, there's lots of copper there, but copper I honestly don't think I'll even bother. Copper is just redundant. It's dead to me. Oop. I'll jump down here. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> ah. Um well, this is a problem for me. Anyway... I think I'm going to end this video because I just realized it's probably going on way too long. And I have to go eat food. Just a little, you know, side fact about me. I like to eat food. So, anyway... Yep, I'm going to end up here and I will come back later. Sadly, I'm probably going to end up back in my house and I'll have to go all the way back down, but who knows, I might take a different route and find more treasure, hopefully. Well, that's all for me for now. See you then.